So Jay, you came down, is it like two weeks, three weeks ago? How long it since you came down to Nova Scotia? I've been here for three weeks. Okay, and before that you were here for also two weeks, right? Yes. yes. So like, how do you like it? I mean, I've lived here for 27 years. I love yes. it here. How do you like it? I love it here. It's um, so uh, natural and the beautiful trees and the beautiful hills, the ocean and the lakes. It's amazing. Yeah. I love it too. Like, when you come back next time, we should do some maybe fishing or go out with the boat. Yes. We have a lake here called the Bordeaux Lakes. It's huge. Yes. It's actually connected to the uh, ocean. Yes. It's very, very beautiful. And you would love it. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, like, I'll show you. In yes. fact, a lot of native people from Bolodek, that's a Chapel Island uh, community, they go fishing out there too. Okay. Ice fishing and also fishing in the summertime. What kind of fish? Well, I think here. in the Bordeaux Lakes you have all kinds of different fish. Yeah. In the Bordeaux Lakes you will see, first of all, saltwater fish. You have okay. um, definitely um, flounder. They have definitely ha um, cod, a lot of cod fish in there too. Okay. Wow. But they also have trout, different kinds of trout and yeah. probably even carp, I'm not sure about that. Bass, bass definitely. So there's a lot of fish in there. Wow, that would be amazing. You'll enjoy that. Go fishing. And the other day I got up, I had a deer right in front of the house. You might have yes. seen it too, because you're living close by. Do you see the deer the other morning? Yes, I see. Well, actually, I seen mine uh, when I was doing the dishes outside the window. Okay. They were looking at me. So they were like right outside the house. Yeah. They are nodding their head. Okay. Mm. Right. Very beautiful. So uh, close. I've never seen deer so close, close like that. You know, it's funny. A few years ago, I have the deer farm here too. My mother called mm. me. She said, "Oh, listen, Rolf, outside the window there's a deer." And then she said, "Oh no, it's two, five, ten. And then I knew. It was not white-tailed deer, they are here naturally, but it had to be my own deer wow. from, from the farm, so they kind of broke out. Oh. And that was a problem, because I had to recover them. It took me a while to catch 10 or 11 deer again, but um, that's what I love about wow. the area. I mean, I live in the middle of a deer farm, and you yeah. see the farm obviously all the time too. Yes. It's nice for the kids to grow up, and um, I really, really enjoy being outside. As you know, I do a lot of eagle photography too. Yes. And. Um, by the way, thanks again for the eagle feather. I really, yes. really, really um, appreciate that because I know it means a lot to you. You're from the mm -hmm. eagle clan. Yeah. But I know the feather also healed you. And so yeah. giving it to me means a great deal to me. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Deserve it. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It's very, I feel very honored to be here. Well, we are very yes. happy to have you here. Yeah. I mean, you met all the other artists on the mm -hmm. last event in Halifax we did. Mm -hmm. It takes a vision. And I think you want to fit in really, really well. And the one thing is, French United is obviously about teaching and the other artists, some are not at the point where they make, like, like where they can make it on their own so well, mm -hmm. the entrepreneurship part. I think you can teach them a great deal in that regard. Oh, yes. I mean, coming from Toronto, I think you would have experienced a bit more of entrepreneurship yeah. and that's important. I mean, you know, French United is not there to make big money, but it's certainly there to help yes. the artist. And if you, if you can teach them, um, to do good consistent paintings and you are obviously doing that all the time. Your paintings yeah. are so spiritual. And that it can help them like with the financial side, I think, yes. on the right track for them. Because I would like for them to be able to provide for their families and do well even without me and, 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 yeah. uh, and you know um, other people. So if they can build their own businesses through art, I will be very, very happy for them. It's amazing. I'd be happy to do that. That'd be really great. Yeah. Really, really great. I mean Raven is already mm -hmm also from Toronto, so she also grew up in the city in part, and she knows quite a bit about mm -hmm. entrepreneurship too. She's also teaching the other artists. Yeah. And um, I, I look every week at the paintings, every month when they bring the paintings, yes. and they evolve in their style and they're getting better. Yeah. Um, I remember Fancy, the first painting I bought from her three or four years ago was on the uh, trunk of a car. She came up and she said, look, Ralph, I want to sell this painting. And um, I really kind of need to sell that painting because I need to be able to buy gas so I can go back home. I said, look, yeah. I'll be happy to look at the painting. And then it was good, but she's much better by now. And yeah. so what happened, we gave her for a long time more canvas, more brush. We helped mm -hmm. to get her on her own feet. And I mean, you've seen Fancy's work, by now I think she's a world-class artist. Oh, yes. And um, we're really proud of her. And you know, like you met the others, you met David. David is teaching yeah. his daughter, Chelsea. She's becoming a very good artist too. Yes. So I think we're all going in the right direction. They're all good. They're very you good You know, people. just uh, like as for me, I was good, but I just kept painting and it just got better and better and better. Well, I mean, your mm. paintings, especially when I met you first time at the Power in Toronto three years ago, um, 
I very, very much enjoyed your artwork, yeah. very spiritual. You explained so much to me about the seven teachings, about the different stages of life, childhood, teenager, adult, and then elder eventually. And there's so much to your mm. paintings that I see all the time. And um, I was very honored that you explained all these things to me. Yes. So um, I had some that will tell others too. Um, native people would obviously know, but others yeah. like me coming from Germany, it's like Germans wouldn't know. Germans mm. usually have a very high reverence for First Nations people, but mm -hmm. and they would like to learn, but sometimes they don't know how and where, and it's something yeah. else. I think we can, as an initiative, teach other people too yeah. um, about goodness, about the seven teachings, about like really the seven teachings yeah. to me are almost a direction to live your life by. Yes. And if, yeah. if you stick to them um, as much as you can, yeah. hopefully completely, then I think people can really do yeah. a lot of good. Cool, yeah. So first time I heard about the seven teachings from Regional Chief Mondi Gugu, who is now also part mm -hmm. of our initiative. Yes. And we're happy to have him too. So as Very for the nice. future, like where would you like to go in the future? Like what are your plans? Because we're trying to help mm -hmm. like with everybody like in the initiative. Well. My paintings represent um, to follow that good life and live that good life, practice that good life, and also to uh, not judge other cultures right. or their beliefs. Right. And uh, so I would like to do that with my paintings and spread that around and make all nations come together, you know, peaceful. Okay. And uh, okay. I belong to uh, Madewan Lodge and we're... Uh, very peaceful group of people. Yes, okay. And um, I would like to, you know, I go into schools and I do um, teachings of the paintings and I bring... Uh, so we teach children? Yes. Very yes. important. Very, you know, very important. And I do talks in universities and explain what my paintings are. I, I, so I would really wow. love to do that more. Maybe you could do that here too. Mm -hmm. There is some people that see a lot of wisdom that Paul Martin, our former Prime Minister, mm. when he was in power, I think he did so many good things for First Nations people. Mm -hmm. And now after his time in office, he tries to continue a lot of that. We met, was it last week? I think it was in Sydney. Raven went and uh, former Premier Roger McDonald and myself, mm. and we spoke to Mr. Martin about Friends United. And I think he was pretty excited too. But the reason why I was in Halifax was, because, like they were, they were starting with the initiative, some courses are teaming up for courses for grade 11 and 12 for first of all two things really mm -hmm. first nations children to have their own courses and to learn a lot more about the history but we discussed the one yeah. thing it's important to also include in canadian history for other children yeah. um, a lot more about first nations people art and culture because many canadians that talk today don't know as much as uh, like about the last three or four hundred years as maybe first nation people do yeah. It's just First Nations people had to go through a lot of yeah. suffering and whatnot, and yeah. history books reflect it sometimes, but mm -hmm. I see so many First Nations people that are struggling, really because for three, four, five hundred years, mm -hmm. identity was taken away. Yeah. And um, they, 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 I mean, David Brooks was in, in, like in residential school. He said when he spoke Mi'kmaq, they would wash out his mouth with soap and whatnot. They would beat him. And so, Yes. I'm always trying to explain when people were abused for such a long time. Yeah. It takes a long time to recover. And money alone is definitely not going to do it. And that's almost what I'm hoping that Friends United can come in because yes. we are trying to give First Nations people their pride back and unite them. And through the art, which is not bound by language, obviously, yeah. that's a good part. I think we can show to the rest of the world and other, other Canadians, other North Americans too, how, incre like, uh, like how incredibly important yes. First Nations people are. And you are such a good example. You um, mm -hmm. do consistently good spiritual paintings. You um, work so hard. You teach the kids. You teach other artists. You never compete with artists, and that's good mm -hmm. because we should be working together and not competing with them. And and so um, I have learned a lot from you so far, yes. and all the other artists and the chiefs. And I'd, I'd be happy to learn much <laughs> more from you about mm -hmm. your teachings and other things. It's good. I'd be honored to. Thank you. You're amazing. Thank you, thank you. I love it, and I love it here again. You know, I wake up in the morning, and I just like to smile ear to ear, and <laughs> it's so beautiful here. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah, I think you have this all around you where you yes. make people happy. Anyways, Raven is the same mm -hmm. way too. Something, I don't know if it's in the soul or in the upbringing, whatever it is, but um, like when I see you or Raven and many of the other artists too, mm -hmm. you really want to be happy and smile. And when yeah. it comes out of the paintings, a lot of the messages, Raven talks sometimes about the family, her kids too. She talks mm -hmm. about upbringing. She talks about many things in her paintings. And I mean, so do you. Mm -hmm. You have so many different animals in there. Which animals do you prefer actually? Like I know you're from the Eagle yes. Clan, but which animals do you prefer? I really like the the loon, which represents a loyal loyalty and it's also a leader inside the village. Right. So and uh my mother, I do it for my mother, I know she's gone to the spirit world now. Yes. But I dedicate my loon when I paint, it's I think of her. Okay. And it makes me smile, and I just love to make that loon so powerful. Okay. And uh, but we all learn from the animals, so there's all teachings with those every single different animal. That's right. So that's what I like to do in the paintings. But I love the loon. Yes. So many, the turtle, Mother Earth, and of course the eagle, the messenger. Yes. And the bear, healing, and uh, hummingbird, love, and uh, dragonfly, new beginning, and it's all all connected. That I didn't know. Dragonfly yeah. is new beginning. Yeah. Fish is a teacher. You said the yes. other day. Yes. The fish is a teacher, visionary. Yes. Yes. So is this specific to Ojibwe tribe, or do you think also to Mi'kmaq Malasi to others? Yeah, we're pretty much all connected. It's pretty much, it might be a little different word involved in the saying of a teaching, but it's pretty much similar. Right. You know, because we all have the same animals in of course. North yeah. America, so we of all course. use them. Like an owl's wisdom, you know. Yes. So. Yeah, I've seen probably 60, 70 of your paintings that we have so far. Mm -hmm. And um, I know that our staff and the other artists and our friends are always very excited when you bring another painting and you do, like you do consistently so many good ones and they all have their own messages and, and they are very spiritual. Yes. I know people are always excited. Jay's coming with another painting. Let's check it out. They're yes. always happy to see you. Yes, thank you. That's, that's how it was yesterday. Yeah, you yes. brought one yesterday, didn't you? And everybody was so happy. Good. You, you know. did another one with the eagle, right? Yes, which are the four colors which represents the uh, four races, you yes. know, and um, I call the painting United. Okay. It's very beautiful. I think I saw when you started, you had the eagle and you had four circles. Yes. Each representing each race. Yes. The, the black, the, 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 the Indian race, the yeah. native race, the, the, the red, yes. and the yellow race, and then the white race. Yes. So we have to be all united together yes. to make this a more peaceful place for us to live and think of our future and the kids as kids. That's right. So that's what that painting represented. Okay. All right. Yes. All right. Um, I saw the eagle in the back. Did you connect the eagle to the uh, circle somehow? Or yes. Did you, like, you connect that's it? The, he's the messenger. So he's taking the messages from all four races. Okay. And the fish is in there too, and that's he's the visionary, so that's what he sees and that's what he wants. Okay. For that to happen. Everybody okay. come together. Because you've done something similar in the painting you gave to me. You had me as an eagle. I mean I felt so incredibly um, um, honored to have a painting and then there is um, actually and that's yes. a, and actually like this was Johnson's paintings. Johnson was as the eagle. Yes. And then um, you had had them connected. And uh, same thing in the other painting that you did for me, you had mm -hmm. me as a person, but then you connected me to the three children. So I think it's it's important that, and I, like, I, like I think the paintings show how family is and should be connected, mm -hmm. how people should be connected to nature, and that includes both wildlife and plants. And I think mm -hmm. at this day, like day and age, it gets forgotten a lot that we come from nature and we need to preserve it. Yeah. I think it's most important to do that. Mm -hmm. It is. So these are good messages I also see mm -hmm. in your paintings. And um, Raven had one called Fish in the Sea. Mm -hmm. And again, she had the moon in there, she had the fish, she had the water. Uh, I mean, 
you know, we tend to look at the land, but I think the oceans are just as important. Oh, yes. Because all the fish in there and, mm. and then the plants and the algae that provide oxygen for us to breathe. That's, yeah, I was outside last night and I could see the uh, ocean and it was a full moon. Yes. So it looks so close to the water. So I sat outside probably for about an hour trying to get a vision of with the light reflecting off the ocean. Yes. And I'm going to do some paintings for that, what I've seen last night. So this is something really, you look at specific scenes sometimes mm -hmm. and they, they really trigger your interest and, and, and you can relax and you see certain messages. Mm -hmm. And then those happenings in life, those specific moments, you try to reflect sometimes, like yes. reflect them in, in your paintings, right? Yes. Like yeah. Nokomis is uh, um, the moon, grandmother moon. Yes, Raven so mentioned that. She was so close last night to the water and the water represents mother and yes. that's her uh, veins Yes. that forever flows. Yes. So I want to do something with uh, grandmother moon yes. and mother earth. Okay. So that's what came to me. I still don't know yet. I still got to, you know, okay. close my eyes and see what comes to me for okay. that painting. Okay. But it was so beautiful. Whoa. Well, when you're out in nature, I just hear some crows behind us somewhere. I think if you open up your eyes, um, you can see so much um, the sounds. You know, it's funny, I had a European client who bought some land from us uh, years ago in our land development company. And he said, in Canada, I learned again to smell and to hear and to taste and to see. And uh, I said, what are you talking about? He said, look, Ralph, if you sit out in nature for two, three, four, five hours, you have very general sound around you. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I do this too when I photograph bears or eagles, mm -hmm. you sit there four or five hours and it's quiet and you get time mm -hmm. to reflect, but suddenly every little noise pops up and you hear it and you really notice even small noises or like you see suddenly certain yes. things. I mean, the, the other day, um, like today, for instance, we have all the dandelions out and uh, our farm fields in the back, you can walk through yes. them and there's just everything yellow. It's so beautiful. And just one week of the year, maybe two weeks, everything is yellow. And um, I think to go through the world with open eyes for nature, for other people, of course, for wildlife too, mm -hmm. is most important. And I think that's what mm -hmm. I see so much in your artwork, but yes. in the other artists' artwork too. Oh yes, it is. It would be awesome to do a, a big, huge painting with all of us together. All the artists. Like a, happening, like, like all the artists come together, like 12 artists come together and they all do part of a painting? Yes. Yeah, I think I could and see that actually make a lot of sense because it's about Friends United anyways. Yeah. And in that case, it's, it would really Friends United. It's, it's a good thought. I mm -hmm. mean, and they wouldn't even have to be at the same time necessarily. Sometimes it's hard to get all the 12 artists yes. together at the same time. And yeah. you could do that. Yeah. Wow. That's a good idea. Something. That's a very good idea. Make us, I think, too stronger, connected to... It would absolutely do that, know. yes. It would absolutely do that. It would have to be like the bigger painting, but we could do that, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, actually, other artists are coming up this week. David is going to bring some more paintings this okay. week that we probably buy, including the reproduction rights. If he wants to sell them, I'm not sure. Yeah. And he also wanted to hand sign some prints. It's funny, you're going back to mm -hmm. Toronto today, and... Um, I think we did, is it 8,000 prints for you? Yes. 125 of each of your paintings. There were 60 yes. or 70 paintings. And um, I'm happy that works because now we have, besides the fact that you did and mm. could sell paintings and you did and, and could sell production rights, mm -hmm. um, you can also do prints and so you can take those home and sell those. Yes. And I'm always trying to see to it that this becomes another revenue, another avenue for the artist. Yes. Make a living, and I think in your case especially, that's going to work out really, really well. Because you can talk to many guys in Toronto and other places, I think you should be able to sell those well. Oh, yes. And I mean, you're extremely established, at it, like as it is, obviously. Yes. But I think it's going to be another sideline. And so I think David is probably going to sign more prints this week and probably Chelsea too. And yes. I'm thinking probably Fancy too, I'm not sure what she wants to do. But um, my preference is always. That's mm -hmm. the good thing for the artists, that we split them half. You mm -hmm. guys hand sign, then you take half home, yeah. and we give the other half of Friends United. But I think 
what that really does is it, it, it allows the artist at having no cost whatsoever yeah. with extremely good, good quality prints and sell those. Perfect. Yeah. And um, I, I think that's, that's a very good way of doing things. Uh, like in your case, mm -hmm. if you take 8,000 prints home, yeah. you need the whole, <laughs> you need the whole van. Um, yes. We even just take you into Toronto later on. So how long are you driving? 10, 12, 15 hours? Probably about 15 hours. Okay. Yeah, I went once by car. Mm. I forget how long it was, but it's going to be a while. So that's good though. Well, I hope, yes. hopefully, hope to God you're coming back very soon. I know you're coming back, but yes. we have a lot of Europeans coming mm -hmm. this year too. They would like to hear a lot more about spirituality, mm -hmm. about what the initiative does. And um, actually, we really missed you last week when Paul Martin came into Sydney. Mm -hmm. I would have loved to have you there too to explain. Mm -hmm. But when he had two, three, four minutes with Mr. Martin, he spoke for an hour to his assistant, Lucy. But um, I think mm -hmm. he should have met you too because yeah. you're such a spiritual person and you're such an example how fancy light is working out well yes. for everybody. I'm hoping it's going to come down sometime soon again and then he would see our fancy light conventions and then we could have a meeting, maybe invite the chiefs, mm -hmm. the regional chiefs, and maybe do something here. Maybe even do an official opening because the center is big. I, I, like I was told by people it's the largest Aboriginal facility for art between here and Toronto. Whether that's the case, I don't know, but many people told yes. me. We have 800 paintings, 200 carvings, 10, 15 totem poles, probably 100 quill baskets from Sandra. Have you met Sandra? You meet? Of course you met yes, Sandra. Yes, yes. Sandra came in yesterday and, uh, God, she said, look, Ralph, I need to sell another basket. They disconnected her power a while ago, so she used to look after an older person and this man died, so she has no more revenue. And I said, look, then please do more baskets. And so I gave her some money a few weeks ago mm -hmm. just to get the power back and, and, and for pain. But um, if, she can like, if she can make consistently more baskets, I gave her some money yesterday. She said she needs some food. Um, Fancy was the same way a few years ago. And I mean, that's what I'm hoping for, that at least once people join our initiative, they'll be able to provide well mm. for their families. And so far, that's starting to work out very well for everybody. Yes. It's just um, First Nations people, and especially good artists, shouldn't have to struggle like that. And mm. I hope to God we can help more. But Sandra is now that was important to me teaching mm -hmm. others. There was, she said there was 12 women that took the that quill baskets in her group, and she's the only one that survived. That's why she's going to school, so as you yeah. are, come to think of it, and teaching. She's probably 60 years old, I'm thinking, and yeah. hopefully she can do it for many more years. But we need to preserve everything, including actually the language. Yes. That's what we spoke about yesterday. We looked yesterday at our Halifax exhibition mm -hmm. with the German camera team. And they said we should not just preserve the spirituality and, 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 and the paintings and the art, the messages, but also the language and the writing. And what I realized yesterday, and I, I think at least, each tribe has different language. Yes. And each tribe has different writing. So that's going to be quite a task. Mm -hmm. But we should talk to the other artists, see how we can go about that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. it sounds amazing. Well, whatever we can do, I think it's important. That's how I learned, is uh, through my art, is uh, to make me um, stronger, to be proud, right. to learn more of my culture, yes. you know, to do more ceremonies. Yes. And so my painting has helped me with that. Yes. And the language, you know. So you said you were taught, your dad is still great, but I only met him once for a minute or two in Toronto a few years mm -hmm. ago, when I meet him sometime again. So he taught you and other artists and other elders and chiefs. How, how, yes. how, like, how did you learn? I learned from uh, my father, as you were saying. I would watch him doodle. So when he would go away, you know, go out somewhere or upstairs, I would like sneak in. And then he, he caught me and then he would say, I'm going to buy you your own. So he bought me my own and I just started. Oh, like he bought your own canvas. And yes. Like so this is interesting. You kind of went. Yes. To use his like, utensils to, to work with brushes and whatnot. Yes. And once he saw the interest in you, then yeah. he bought you canvas. Yes, and same as my mother. Thank God, that's so good. And uh, I, I wish all parents would do that. David does the same thing with Chelsea. Yeah. Um, he's teaching her, most yeah. important. Yeah, I have a 12-year-old daughter. Yes. Her name's Nizani, and uh, she's already winning contests in, good. in art. So, so you taught her a bit, did you? Yes, yeah. Good, wow. We just got to keep passing and pass it on to other people. Good. Share. You know. Exactly. 
Don't keep it inside. That's right. Don't keep Share it inside. It. Yeah, I think it's important to do that. I think the world can learn a lot about or from, from, about and from First Nations people and their culture. You know, this day and age, they all talk about sustainability, the industry, and who knows talks about it. But the fact is, this is one mm. thing the First Nations people did for thousands of years, sustainability. Nobody had to even talk about it. It was just natural understanding. Yeah. You don't harvest something to death and take everything. You move on and wait up until it like, recovers. And um, I really think if people could listen and would and will listen, and hopefully they will, yes. they can learn a lot from First Nations people. Perfect. So Thank Jay, you. thanks so much. I hope to see you soon again. You're heading out to Toronto, I know you are. Yeah. And um, I wish you a very good drive. Mm -hmm. Say hi to Elena, please. Yes. Come back soon, we'd love to have you. I will. And um, well, Yes. Um, you know, we'll be here when you need us. And in the meantime, mm -hmm. I'll go from there. Amazing. Thanks brother. Thank you. And again, Beautiful. Thanks again for the paintings, for my kids and myself. And thanks so much also mm -hmm. for the feather. Yes. All right, brother. Perfect. Thanks. Take care. See you later.